Hi, I am Raksha. I'm a marketing manager at Productica. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the platform capabilities of Productica. Productica is one-stop machine learning platform for business users and data scientists to create, deploy, monitor, and explain machine learning models. Productica is built on Snowflake platform and is a proud Snowflake technology partner. Let's just dive into the product demo. In this section, I will demonstrate how to create projects and add data sets. Once you have set up your account, you can log in through any web browser. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for a new account using the self sign up page and gain access to Pradactica's platform with a 30 day free trial. Since I already have an account set up as an administrator, I will use that account to log in. If you are set up as an administrator, for your organization, you can add additional users with role-based access control from the settings menu. Pradactica platform also supports single sign onto third-party identity providers like Augur, Aguractory, etc. Now that you are able to log in, let's explore platform capabilities. Your default view when you log in is the project homepage. A project serves as a virtual space where you can create and share data sets and models with your team. Before creating a project, you need to connect to a data source. In this demo, we are going to show how to natively connect to Snowflake data source. From the settings menu, select connector option and create connector action. The Snowflake connector settings in this view are customer Snowflake configuration settings provided by the customer. Once the connection to Snowflake environment is complete, you can start creating project and import data sets. Select the desired Snowflake warehouse name as your target for the project. Additionally, you can provide basic project information and select the project scope. Now, let's import a data set to the project and perform some end-to-end -end data science activities. Since you already established connectivity to Snowflake, you can directly import from Snowflake Data Warehouse or even write custom SQL queries to pull the desired data. For example, you can select multiple tables and join them to create data set. In this case, let's use churn table as the data set. Selecting the data set just added takes us to the data set homepage. Let's briefly explore the navigation structure from the data set homepage. From the left menu, you can navigate to exploratory data analysis, model building, model deployment, and machine learning operations. Top section shows the data set size along with data quality and data distribution bar for each of the features indicating data distribution patterns and quality of the data. Also, you can view and perform various feature engineering activities for each of the features. Operations that can be performed at the feature level are categorized into numeric functions, column level functions, data transformation functions, etc. With these set of features, you can perform powerful data transformation activities, which can then be used as input for model building to create accurate predictive models. Let's look at a couple of these functions and see how it works. For example, for tenure, you might want to group them into three categories like short, medium, long, using binning feature. As you can see, it created new feature that we created with the grouping we desired. You can also go ahead and delete the numeric feature now that we have a more meaningful feature derived. Also, every data transformation performed is recorded as a transaction, which can be viewed by selecting current transformation steps. The power of this capability is automation. To get an idea of statistical information about data set, you can go into the statistical tab and see information like average, mode, standard deviation, etc across each feature. Similarly, looking at the graphs tab, you can look at various graphs like outlier plot, correlation matrix, etc. for each of the features. Predactica platform has integrated Azure OpenAI GIBP model into the platform to enable conversational analytics. 
This capability is disabled by default, but the administrator of the organization can enable this capability through Settings menu by providing required credentials. Once enabled, you can use OpenEye Power Conversations for additional insights. To view some of the OpenEye capabilities, navigate to Desired Dataset and select Statistical Table. Ask AI creating dynamic pre-generated queries based on the dataset. You can select specific queries and even regenerate these on the fly. In addition to auto-generated queries, you can ask specific dataset-related queries. The Azure OpenEye capabilities will be further expanded into other areas of the platform, including explainable AI in the next version. The dataset contains attributes about customer, like how long customer was with company, what other services they use, currently monthly charges, etc. The business problem we're trying to solve is to predict which customers are likely to churn so you can take some proactive steps to minimize customer churn. Let's go ahead and start building predictive model selecting churn as the target feature. Once you select target variable, model type is automatically selected to the right type. In the next screen, you will see features that are automatically selected that will be fed to the model. You can override this using manual mode, where you can remove specific features that you do not want to be included in the model build. In this case, we will leave it auto mode. The next screen shows how important each feature is to the model prediction. As you move to the final step, you can see the multiple algorithms model picked to run against the dataset for prediction, and also hyperparameters that can be tuned. We will leave all these in the auto mode and start building the model by selecting build model action. This will take few minutes depending on the size of the dataset. You can see the status of the models being built on the right panel as multiple algorithms are run simultaneously. Once the model runs are executed, they're stored in model repository. From the repository view, you can see the list of model types that are completed for each run. The summary view shows key hyperparameters used in building this specific model type. You can also look at features with highest contribution to the model outcome. For example, for this model type, online security and contract duration features have the highest impact on the model outcome. The Prediction Explanation Overview tab shows predicted Vs, actual outcomes for target variable, in this case churn. Also, by selecting individual record, you can evaluate how each feature is impacting positive and negative outcomes. For example, for this customer instance, Churn probability is 5 and key factors contributing to churn are monthly charges and paperless billing. The what? If analysis tab can be used to evaluate how outcome changes if one of the values change. For example, changing paperless billing from 1 to 0 changes prediction probability for churn. From 5 to 3, 3 for this customer. Model Performance tab indicates key performance metrics for this model type. This includes confusion matrix which indicate true-false positives and negatives and rocks curve. These metrics can be used to identify the best performing model and deploy them in production. After you complete model performance analysis and decided on which model to deploy in production, you can select Deploy option for the specific model information. Data Drift Check is used to monitor data drift in a model. 1. The model is deployed in production. It can be monitored through Machine Learning Operations view. The Summary tab indicates if there is any data drift and if accuracies are OK based on predefined thresholds. The Data Drift tab indicates if there are any features having data drift issues and are highlighted as such. This is based on comparing production data set with latest validation data set. In this case, the feature total charges has data drift as indicated by the status. Additional capabilities like retraining the model if there is a drift and sending alerts for drift will be available in the platform as well. This concludes Predactica's demo session. As you can see, Predactica's platform offers end-to-end -end machine learning capabilities for business and technical users alike.